hello beautiful people in in this lesson we will learn that how we can add a password field and we will add uh, a button uh, by using this we can hide our password and show our password so we can toggle in our password so we in the in the short form uh, we have the email and we will add the password now so let's go to our code uh, so uh, in this form uh, we have this simple label and we have the text this text field for email and we have the load uh, loading button uh, we have to add a password here let's add it let's name it to the password variant is equal to outline required and full full width so uh, our our the password field is ready now we have the password and uh, what we have to do so we have to create uh, uh, a icon button uh, which will which we can use to show or hide our password so we will call it here we will call it end adornment we will import input adornment from MUI and we will set its position to the end because we need uh, this icon at the end of uh, our input so we will add an icon button because uh, we have a click event uh, we have to need uh, actually we need a click uh, click event so that we can hide our, or show our password so for this now we will not handle uh, we need uh, uh, icons we can add uh, icon from material UI uh, we can search the I uh, and we need this icon uh, for the show uh, for showing uh, our password we will import it here and we need another icon which will indicate that our password is, is uh, hidden and uh, we have this visibility of so we can also import it uh, so we have created this button and we will add it in our uh, input field so we need to add input props and we need to add object and we can add and adornment here and we will pass a gsx which is our button this one okay let's see either we have uh, icon to see uh, we have some sort of errors let's see why it's happening actually this error is coming because we unfortunately did not install the icons from material so we can install it from here so let's start it will take some time so our icons are installed now and uh, we will see oh unfortunately <laughs> we have added this uh, icon in the email field don't worry but we will copy it from here and uh, we will add it in our password field and let's we see now yes uh, so we have this button in uh, for our password but uh, it is not working for now uh, we will implement its working uh, so here what exactly we need we will just add a state here So let's call it visible 
and set visible initially we will make it uh, false and we will add these two states uh, here as well visible and set visible and same here visible So we are destructuring it from here and we will conditionally reddening our icon if we have visible state we will add i close icon this one else we can use this I open icon and on click we have to change the state or toggle the state on click set visible and uh, what state we are getting here we have to inverse it and reset the state again so we will add a negation mark here with it so whatever the state will come we will just negate it and reset it so we have this uh, let's see what uh, what we have now yes so this button is working now uh, but if we talk about the uh, our text or password so we have to set up also with it so we have its type we will also set our con uh, type conditionally like if we are visible so we have uh, text type is, uh, is text otherwise we have password so let's see now so actually this uh, this thing cut inverse so we have to inverse it yes uh, or no we will just add password here and text here so we see that if we click it here so it will be hide and if we click back so it will be show so i hope so you like the video thank you so much for watching